What's up everyone, Cubix here, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have another unboxing from thecubicle.com, and this is going to be a pretty cool one. So definitely stick to the end to see what I got. And without further ado, let's just get right into this video. So as you can see, we have a lot of new mini mats, so we're going to check these out first. And if you want to pick up any of these, you can check the links down in the description below. These are all five of the new cubicle mini mats. Alright, so here's the first one, and to compare it to something else that you might know, a while back I got this, before I was sponsored by the cubicle, and as you can see, the cubicle mini mats are way bigger, but are still a perfectly small, nice size. So I do really like the size of the cubicle ones a lot more, these just seem way, way too small, and it's not really enough room to do anything on. On this one, you can actually put a timer and still have as much room as this mat has. So that is really, really cool. So as you can see, we can fit on a timer. And plus, we have the extra part of the mat, so we don't have to put the timer off of the mat. All right, so here's the next one. And I do really like this one too, although I'm not quite sure if it's my favorite. I do really, really like this mat material, though. If I were to guess, they are probably about a quarter inch thick, which is actually super thick for a mat. And so your cube will definitely not get damaged on these. So here are the last few, and you are not going to believe me when I tell you these are only $4.99. You can get five of these for only $25, and that is an insane deal, especially for the really high quality, feel, and size of these. So here's this nice blue one, and I can't tell if this is my favorite or if this gray one is my favorite. They both look really nice on this white background. And, you know, I think I will probably use this gray one, seeing how it looks right now. It's a nice, clean, and not distracting look. And yeah, I really think it's a nice and simple, yet super clean and cool design. So I definitely really like these mats. Again, you can pick them up from thecubicle.com by checking out the link down in the description below, and make sure to use code CUBIX at checkout to get 5% off your entire order. Alright, so it looks like the first cube we have is the Yushin Little Magic V2M. So it comes in a really simple cardboard box, which honestly, a lot of cubes should come in. It'll really cut down on price. And okay, it looks like this doesn't even have anything in it. Well, here is a tiny little pamphlet, which just shows like the faces and turns of the cube. So nothing important here. So yeah, it looks like the only accessories this cube comes with is this stand right here. And then this tiny little adjustment tool. So yeah, that must be why this cube costs so cheap. Okay, so I actually have the V1M right here, so let's start by seeing what this is like. Okay, so it's a little bit quiet, super, super buttery and smooth. It's definitely very bubbly, and it does catch a little bit, but honestly, the turning is super quiet and nice and satisfying. So now, onto the V2. It looks like the center is a little bit more rounded, so I'm curious to see what that's like. Oh wow, okay, so this is definitely louder, a little bit more clacky. I think it just needs some lube to, you know, slow it down, make it a little more plush. Still a little bit dry and papery. I'm waiting for that feeling to go away. But it looks like right now this is a, this might be a slight bit more catchy than the V1. Maybe it's just a little bit tighter. All right, yeah, so the V2 feels a little bit tighter out of the box. But yeah, it's a little bit more clacky and loud. The corner cutting is a little less than 45, so not the greatest. And reverse, yeah, not a piece. So the corner cutting is not that great. The speed is actually fairly fast. But let's check out the adjustment system okay so it has a little adjustment system right around the screw right there and i don't think you could see in this video but right on it there are small numbers right there that go from 1 to 12 
So I assume if you turn it counterclockwise, you start from 1 and go to 12, which is getting tighter as you go. And so it looks like right now it's actually set to setting 7, and you could tell by this little arrow right here pointing to the number. So first we'll move it to setting 1, and then go to 12, and see what the difference is. Also be careful taking off these center caps, because as you can see, I already bent it a little bit, because the design is a little bit flimsy. Okay, so setting 1 actually feels a lot nicer than setting 7 in my opinion, but it is a little bit clappy and unstable. So I don't know if I would go with this. I'd probably go somewhere around setting four. So first let's try setting 12 and then we'll pick a preference. All right, setting 12 is significantly tighter. It's super hard to turn on this one and it is way catchier on setting 12. It's also very slow. So I think I'm gonna go around setting three or four. I'll let you know what I choose. Okay, yeah, so I chose setting four and that feels so much better. The turning is a lot more stable on setting 4, it's not quite as unstable and loose as setting 1, and definitely not as tight and slow as setting 12, so I think I'm going to keep it right on setting 4, and I'll probably put in some DNM and lubical silk. But as for now, this cube doesn't necessarily impress me, but it doesn't make me regret spending my money on this cube. I think it has some potential, it just needs some breaking in. Now I do really like this glossy plastic, I'm really glad a lot of cubes are still sticking with this type of plastic and not switching to frosted, cause that plastic is very slippery, and I really like the grip and the look on these cubes. So next up we have the Waylong WRM Maglev, which I'm really excited for. It should be very similar to the normal WRM 2021, just with magnets instead of springs. Now I noticed the maglev didn't seem to work as well on the RS3M 2020 and I actually like the original version better so I'm really curious to see how the maglev stands out in this cube and I also heard it has some really nice purple internals so I'm really excited for that as well. Wow okay that looks really cool this will definitely stand out in a competition people will know you have the maglev version of the Waylong WRM 2021, so that's really neat. Now this cube also does come with the standard Waylong display case, so nothing really special here, just, you know, another display case to put on my shelf. And it also has the standard Waylong accessories, like these two little pamphlets, these four replaceable tools, and then it also has the dual adjustment tensioning piece, as well as a screwdriver and this case to put the tensioning pieces in. And then it comes with these spacers to make sure all tensions are equal. Okay, so we'll start out with first turns, and I'm pretty sure this will feel exactly like the original one, except maybe just a slightly different based off of the maglev. Oh wow. That actually feels a lot different than I was expecting. Holy cow. That is way more smooth and fluid than the WRM 2021. Wow. That is super smooth. So it does have the same exact tensioning system as the WRM 2021. This magnet piece goes from one to five, and I'm pretty sure on this one, five is actually the lightest magnets, and one is the strongest. Also, I do really, really think those purple internals stand out really nice, and they look super cool in this. But yeah, that turning is a lot more fluid than the original WRM 2021. It seems like maglev does play actually a huge role in this cube. But it's a little bit fast right now, kind of hard to control, but I do really like the turns. Everything else is the same as the WRM 2021, you know, corner cutting is really good. It's fairly fast out of the box, but yeah, I really, really like this one. It definitely is a little bit more pleasing than the original one was straight out of the box. So I'm just happy that this will also eliminate spring noise because I have a problem with that in Waylong cubes, uh, especially just Moyu cubes in general, but this should completely get rid of that, so that's really nice. So here's the maglev, I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but this little nut on top is a magnet right down there, and then it repels against another magnet, so it acts exactly like a spring. And then here's this dual adjustment system right here, so you use this piece and you turn counterclockwise to get tighter and it has about eight settings I think and so I'm not really gonna go fully into this cube since you can easily just watch my review and unboxing of the original Waylong WRM 2021 so super nice this will probably be my main 
it feels super cool, and I really love the internals. You know, I guess I should give a short overview of how to adjust the magnets, even though I did it in the other video, but you use this tool right here, and this tiny little tip right here you place in that magnet, and you turn it clockwise to go weaker magnets to number five, and then go back to setting one to get to stronger magnets. And you can put this tool right here in this piece to make it a little bit easier to turn. This video is sponsored by thecubicle.com. Do you want all these amazing cubes, but you just can't quite afford them? Well, you're in luck, because from now on you can use discount code CUBICS at checkout to get a sweet discount off of all of your orders. Saves you money and helps my channel grow. So what are you waiting for? It's objectively optimal. Also, don't forget to subscribe to The Cubicle on YouTube, as well as check out all of their other social media so you can learn more about their amazing store and so you don't miss out on any more of their weekly exclusive sales. Links for everything you need to know will be down in the description below. Check it out. All right, so next up we have the Chi MP 3x3, which I'm really excited for. I heard a lot of great things about it, and like it's pretty similar to the Tornado. Here's just a random pamphlet, and then here is the only adjustment tool it comes with, which is really nice. I'm really liking these simple features and accessories. We just got this nice cube box and one little adjustment tool, which looks like a deer tick. Okay. Now, I actually really like this box. I'm excited to hopefully sometime in the future get all the rest of the CHEMP cubes, but for now, this will have to do. And yeah, I really, really like this box and I'm super excited to see what the other boxes are like as well. All right, so let's open up this cube and see how it performs. Okay, so right off the bat, this does kind of look like the tornado. And whoa, that feels really similar. So a little bit looby on the outside, kind of slippery but it does look like it kind of has glossy plastic, maybe sort of matte finish, but not that much, so that's kind of nice. So I am getting a little bit more catches than the Tornado got. And it is a slightly more clacky, a little bit louder, but this kind of just feels like a cheaper version of the Tornado. I don't really know if there's much to say about it. I mean, you know, the corner cutting, Okay, so right out of the box, not quite 45, and then reverse corner cutting, not even a piece, so not that great. I don't know, I think I'd rather just spend seven more dollars to get the original Tornado, but right now I'm having a lot of catching and doing the wrong turns. And it's not even that it's fast, it's just that it's very, very catchy and locky right now. I guess it's just a little bit dry and slow, and just needs a little bit of lube, maybe some silk and DNM. Now it is slightly bigger than the Tornado, maybe just by a millimeter, and I think they feel about the same weight. The shades, you know, are the exact same. And yeah, this is definitely a lot more plush and quiet and smoother to turn, while this one is a little bit more loud, clacky, and catchy. So they do feel really similar, except this one feels so much more high quality, and I would definitely get the Tornado for just $7 more than this cube. This cube isn't even really a budget cube either. I think it's around $15 to $20, maybe $17 or $18. So yeah, I would definitely go for the Tornado. However, we will still check out the tensioning system to see if it is any different or the same as the Tornado. Okay, so the center caps were a little bit harder to take off on this one, but it looks like the centers look pretty much the same, except that this one doesn't have that one outer adjustment system. So on this cube, you can tension the elasticity, but you can't tension the centerpiece travel. But yeah, it looks like it's super simple. You just stick this right in these two holes. And right now it's on setting three. If you turn it counterclockwise, you go to setting four, then five, and then setting one. So it looks like it goes from one to five. One is definitely the loosest, and if you do a few more clicks, so two, three, four, five, that's definitely the tightest. So I'll play around with that a little bit more later, but for now, this is definitely a lot more catching than the Tornado, and I'm not too fond of it. Definitely nothing that really impresses me, but it's not a bad cube. I know I'm, what I'm saying probably makes it sound like a bad cube, it does still feel like a tornado, just a cheaper version of it. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention that really sets it apart is that you cannot adjust the edge magnets. 
So yeah, definitely get the Tornado for just $7 more. All right, so lastly, we have the Diane Chang Solar S3M, which I'm pretty excited for. I wasn't too impressed by the original Diane Chang M3x3, so I'm curious to see what this will feel like. A lot of people have said they really stepped it up, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is like a really big box, so I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of accessories. Whoa, okay, so right off the bat, this reminded me of the Valk Elite unboxing with the extra center caps. Although, I'm pretty sure these are just to give the cube a different look. I don't think they actually do anything, like magnets. So, yeah, the normal cube looks like this. That really looks like the CHI-EMP that I just unboxed. And so, yeah, the normal center caps look like this. And if you want to give it a different look, like the original Diane Chang M, you can put on these caps. I probably won't be doing that. I don't really like the look of those caps. So, we can put these off to the side for now. So, here is... A nice red stand instead of blue that's cool here are two pamphlets extra springs and screws i don't think i'll be needing these i have never changed screws and springs before because i've never had the need to and so then here's just a normal black dancing screwdriver as well as an extra cord all right anyways without further ado let's do some first turns whoa that's actually kind of cool Okay, so it feels very flexible right off the bat. Jeez, corner cutting's actually really good. All right, reverse, you know, pretty standard for newer cubes nowadays. But wow, that's very flexible. The turning though is a little bit loud and clacky. But I mean, right away, I do kind of like this. It's Definitely a different feel. I'm not quite sure what it feels like, but yeah, it's definitely a little loose. And it looks like on the inside, we have a scales design to, you know, use less friction against the pieces and let lube travel faster. It's just like the honeycomb and everything else you've seen, except just a little bit different design, which looks like fish scales. This cube is average speed, and I am having a few catches here and there, probably because of the flexibility plus the clackiness kind of makes it a little bit catchy i do like the glossy plastic and the black internals but let's check out what's in the center to see if there really is anything you know different um okay so i think i might be missing a tool because it does look like there is a little tensioning piece right down beside the screw but other than that you know we have the normal screw tensioning just for the tightness of the cube but yeah, it does look like there's something right down beside it that has three little parts where you'd insert, you know, like three tabs on an adjustment tool and you'd rotate. So I don't know where that is, but hopefully I find it if it did come. And I mean, I'm not really gonna main this cube, so I don't think I'll need it either way. And if there only are three options, I doubt it'll really change it much, but that's kind of unfortunate. If that actually is an adjustment thing. But yeah, I do kind of like this. The turning is very unique and kind of cool. Also, I'm pretty sure this extra core they gave me is broken. So yeah, that's very deformed. Um, You know, I never replace cores anyways, but if these cores are that flimsy, I'm kind of worried. All right, so that's gonna have to be all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. If you want any of these cubes, check the links down in the description below and make sure to use code CUBICS at checkout to get 5% off your entire order. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.